Hello, my name is Dong Joo Yum, Department of Electrical Engineering at KAIST. What I'm going to introduce today is TFET, a tunneling field effect transistor. I will also explain the quantum tunneling effect, which is the basic driving principle of TFETs. Let's get started. The TFET is a field effect transistor with the structure shown in this figure. Since the TFET has many advantages over the MOSFET, it is a device being studied as a new transistor to replace the conventional device MOSFET. The main characteristic of TFETs is that they generate current by using the quantum tunneling effect of electrons. The two figures show the structures of TFET and NMOSFET respectively. As shown in the figures, in the case of a TFET, an intrinsic semiconductor is used as the body and the source and the drain are doped with P-type and N-type respectively. On the other hand, in the case of an N-MOSFET, the P-type semiconductor is used as the body and the source and the drain are each doped with a high concentration of N-type. Therefore, the energy band diagrams of each device in x-axis direction are as follows. To understand the basic driving principle of TFET, let's bring back the energy band diagram of the TFET. When the voltage is applied to the gate of the TFET so that the TFET is at the on state, the energy band diagram is drawn as follows. And the gap between the valence and the conduction bands is reduced. The reduced energy band gap between the valence and the conduction bands makes it easier for the electrons to tunnel from the valence band to the conduction band. The tunneling of the electrons creates a current, and this is the overall basic driving principle of TFET. Then, what is the quantum tunneling effect and why does it happen? Quantum tunneling refers to a phenomenon in which the electrons in quantum mechanics can pass through a potential barrier even in an energy state lower than the potential barrier. We can express the probability of the existence of electrons as the following wave functions of three regions. Then, we can solve the respective wave functions using boundary conditions and we can derive the transmitted flux as a function of the energy. Drawing the transmitted flux as a graph, it can be confirmed that the value of the transmitted flux exists even when the energy of electrons is less than the potential barrier. Therefore, it can be mathematically confirmed that quantum tunneling occurs. TFETs have advantages over the conventional MOSFETs such as low upstate current and low subthreshold swing. Quantum tunneling only occurs when the thickness of the energy barrier is thin enough for tunneling. Therefore, the TFET has smaller upstate current compared to the MOSFET, and it also has small value of subthreshold swing based on good switching characteristics. A low off-state current means a low amount of leakage current, so the lower it is, the better the device. Subthreshold swing means the amount of increase in voltage required to increase the current by a factor of 10. Smaller the value of subthreshold swing, the less energy required to obtain the desired current. Therefore, the smaller value of subthreshold swing, the better the device. As can be seen from the transfer color of the TFET and MOSFET on the right, it can be seen that the TFET has lower upstate current and lower subthreshold swing compared to the MOSFET. Another application that uses the quantum tunneling effect is the scanning tunneling microscopy called STM. 
when the tip of the STM is brought very close to the sample, electrons move due to the tunneling effect and current flows between the sample and the tip. By measuring the change of the generated tunneling current, the surface shape of the sample can be predicted. In this way, the quantum tunneling effect can be applied to various fields and it is expected to be studied a lot as a major characteristic that can replace several conventional devices in the future. So far, we have been talking about TFETs and quantum tunneling effect. If you have any questions after watching this video, please leave a comment. Thank you.